Today we're going to learn about the new taxonomy of educational objectives by Robert J. Marzano and John S. Kendall. There are six levels of the new taxonomy within the context of three systems of thought, cognitive, metacognitive, and self-system. These three systems of thinking is the heart of the new taxonomy. The cognitive system includes processes that address retrieval, comprehension, analysis, and knowledge utilization. Let's start off with the retrieval. It is the activation and transfer of knowledge from permanent memory to working memory where it might be consciously processed. Retrieval of information is either a matter of recognition or recall. Recognition is when students recognize features of information but do not necessarily understand the structure of the knowledge or differentiate critical from non-critical components. Recalling is when the student will be able to produce features of information but not necessarily understand the structure of the knowledge or differentiate critical and non-critical components. While for executing, the student will be able to perform a procedure without significant error but not necessarily understand how and why the procedure works. The second level of cognitive system is the comprehension. It involves two related processes, integrating and symbolizing. Integrating is when the student will be able to identify the basic structure of the information, mental procedure or psychomotor procedure, and the critical as opposed to non-critical characteristics. And the symbolizing is when the student will be able to construct an accurate symbolic representation of the information, mental procedure, or psychomotor procedure differentiating critical and non-critical elements. The third level of cognitive system is analysis. It involves the recent extension of knowledge and generation of new information not already possessed by the individual. There are five analyses processes. The first one is matching. Here, the students identify important similarities and differences between knowledge components. Second is classifying. The students identify superordinate and subordinate categories related to the knowledge. The third one is analyzing error. The students identify errors in the presentation or use of the knowledge. The fourth is generalizing. Students construct new generalizations or principles based on the knowledge. And the fifth one is specifying. Students identify specific applications or logical consequences of the knowledge. And the last process for cognitive system is the knowledge utilization. It's about using accumulated knowledge to tackle problems, develop new products, and deal with unfamiliar situations. Like for example, an engineer might use knowledge of Bernoulli's principle to solve a specific problem related to lift in the design of a new type of aircraft. There are four general categories of knowledge utilization. Number one is decision making. This is when the student uses his or her knowledge of details to make a specific decision regarding the details. Number two, problem solving. This is when the student uses his or her knowledge of details to solve a specific problem regarding the details. Three, experimenting. This is when the student uses his or her knowledge of details to generate and test hypotheses regarding details. And number four, investigating. This is when the student uses his or her knowledge of specific details to investigate a past, present, or future event or conduct an investigation regarding the details. And the fifth level is metacognition under metacognitive system. It's responsible for monitoring, evaluating, and regulating the functioning of all other types of thought. For example, students would establish a specific goal in terms of increasing their understanding or use of specific information presented in a mathematics class. There are four categories of metacognitive processes. The first one is specifying goals. Students establish a goal relative to the knowledge in a plan for accomplishing the goal. The second one is the process monitoring where students monitor the execution of specific goals as they relate to the knowledge. Then the monitoring clarity where students determine the extent to which they have clarity about the knowledge. And then the monitoring accuracy where students determine the extent to which they are accurate about the knowledge. And finally, the highest level of this new taxonomy is the self-system thinking. It consists of an interrelated arrangement of attitudes, beliefs, and emotions which determines whether an individual will engage in or disengage in a given task. It also determines how much energy the individual will bring to the task. There are four types of self-system thinking that are relevant to the new taxonomy. The first type is examining importance. Students identify how important the knowledge is to them and the reasoning underlying this perception. The second type is examining efficacy. Students identify beliefs about their ability to improve competence or understanding relative to knowledge and the reasoning underlying the perception. The third type is examining emotional. Students identify emotional responses to knowledge and the reasons for these responses. And lastly, the examining motivation where students identify their overall level of motivation to improve competence or understanding relative to knowledge and the reasons for this level of motivation. And to recap, 
The six levels of new taxonomy by Kendall and Marzano are retrieval, comprehension, analysis, knowledge utilization, metacognition, and self-system thinking.